Namaste. So, it's been 10 years since I started making the videos on this channel. In fact, almost to the day. I was in Spain, I was traveling around in the mountains, and one day I sat down and I made this video series, Being in the World, because I wanted to express my determination not to base my spiritual life on faith anymore, but to base it on experience, observation, phenomenology. So this existential phenomenology we talked about in a recent video. So now after 10 years, what's happened? Well, I've done a lot of research still trying to understand and explain what happened to me in 1984 when I had this tremendous enlightenment experience. So over the 10 years since then, I've done a lot of research. I've learned an awful lot about the Buddhist teaching, about the Vedic teaching, and about some other paths and teachings as well. Chinese yoga, for example. And Basically, I found a way to express myself and I was able to complete the process to my satisfaction. Yeah, yeah, I know there are a lot of series on this channel that are unfinished or that could be finished and I could spend the rest of my life, probably even longer than that, still making videos. But hey, I want to enjoy a little bit. And there's enough already done that anyone who applies themselves can master all the practices necessary for complete enlightenment. So where does that leave us? Well, I want to make an archive that will persist after I leave this body and keep these materials available. So I'm going to be creating a collection on archive.com. It's not there yet, so don't look for it. And upload all of the videos there in their proper organization and so on, uh, so that people in the future can access them and study them. And if you want to know how to study these videos, I've written up a catalog that explains each category in the videos and lists all the series in, the, in those categories and takes you through the basis of the spiritual path. And so the link for that is in the video description down below here. Now, over the last couple of months, I asked some people for help in transcribing the videos. I think it would be great to transcribe the videos and bring them out as books or at least post them on the internet so that people can read them. And I've already started making podcasts of the videos. I'd like to do the transcriptions as well. The problem is it's terribly time consuming. I don't have enough lifetime left to finish it. So I asked for help. And the problem is, you know, I'm a professional writer and editor. I was 25 years in that business and I was able to retire from it. So I have professional level skills, but other people don't. And when they do a halfway job of the transcription, then it's left up to me to correct all their mistakes. And by the time I do all that and bring it up to our standard, you know, I might as well do the transcription myself. So anyway, I've kind of set that idea aside unless some people with actual professional skills want to help out. So anyway, that process is described in another document linked in the video description about the project, you know, the whole project itself. And then plus we're going to do the archive. That leaves the course site. Here's a link. The course site has a lot of courses 
I've only finished the courses in the introductory section, but there are many more courses that are, you know, still just a skeleton. Uh, it would be really great if someone would come along and finish these courses, organize the site, and administer it, run it. Huh? I'm not cut out for that kind of work. I tried it <laughs> last year. I offered several courses, and I found that I did not like the job of, you know, marking up tests and quizzes and stuff like that. It just it doesn't it doesn't sit right with me. I'd much rather just create the content and have somebody else manage the course site, turn it into a nice little business, and make their living from it. But again, it's something that requires professional skills. You know, it's not something that just anybody can do. You would have to have good knowledge of internet, website development, structural, of, structural design of courses, and of course, communication skills, so that you can help people and uh, help them learn all this knowledge that's available. So this position or this role is available. It's been available for some time, but I just haven't run into anyone who, number one, wants to do it, and number two, has the talent and skills to do it. So this is what we want to do to wrap up this 10-year project. We want to, first of all, put all the videos on archive.com, organized according to the classification of level of consciousness and the chakras. And then we want to uh, organize the courses and bring out the course site as a way to get grounded in the actual knowledge that's in these videos. So any help that anyone wants to uh, do is very, very welcome, <laughs> but you have to do it in a professional way uh, up to our standards. Otherwise, it's just it's too much bother for me to correct all the mistakes. So I don't like correcting mistakes in general. Huh? So uh, if you like that, please contact me. Otherwise, pretty much this project is finished. So will it go on? Will I keep making videos? Well, yeah, when I'm inspired. And what's the best way to inspire me? Ask good questions. There are a number of the viewers out there who really understand where we're trying to go, what we're trying to say, and in the past have made really good comments and inspired me to make videos around them. So I want more of that. Huh? It'll keep me going, you know? It'll get me to sit down and make videos like this. So you please don't be shy, but use the comments under the videos that you watch to ask your questions. And if I'm inspired, I'll respond. Aung Tatsat. Aung Shakti. Aung.